Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So, as a director yourself, did you have an opportunity to observe and learn from Alejandro during this film production? No, I was, I was just a sponge, just soaking <laughs> up everything, everything they did. Yeah. Absolutely. What did you What did you learn? Anything like specifically that you like? I, I want to use this in like my in my future career. Of course, watching Chivo with like the what twelve millimeter lens, fourteen millimeter lens, like two inches away from everybody all the time, <laughs> and he I describe him as the monk with a camera because he's just complete. He looks like he's doing tai chi. <laughs> when he's doing so like you just learn little things from them awesome. and uh, just whatever betters my craft. What well, What was the most arduous scene uh, <clears throat> to film in this production? Um, I think there were every scene just posed new challenges. Like um, of course he, we're shooting five minute, ten minute long takes. And each beat has to be on point, or else like um, it's almost like like music, mm -hmm. like your visual music. Everything has to be perfect, and every scene poses like something new for me, or just I learned something new. I had to grab hold of this emotion, or like dig deep within myself to l explore this part. I'm actually from Salt Lake City, Utah, and I okay. heard that you go into the Sundance Institute. Yeah, how's your experience been there so far? Oh, it's great. I went to the festival um, last year. Mm -hmm. or this year, I don't know, 2015? Yeah. <laughs> that is this year. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so I did uh, attend the festival and that was just a lot of fun and um, seeing great filmmakers. I saw uh, Will Poulter's um, movie, Glassland, mm. and um, I had that connection with him, working with him on set and seeing, connecting with directors, it was a great experience. You had to think about it, what's your most favorite memory from filming this film? Favorite memory was probably uh, just cl like clowning around with everybody on set. I made great friends with the makeup artists and it was um, making friends with those people and learning things I never thought I, I would learn on a film set. Just yeah. like, yeah, connecting with people. If you had to guess, how long do you think the average person could last in a situation like Hugh Glass did in this film? Oh, <laughs> they wouldn't last. <laughs> they wouldn't last. <laughs> After getting mauled by a bear, I mean, like, right. that's crazy. And is there anybody living today that you think could survive? Uh, one of the specialists on set uh, named uh, Clay Landry, I think he uh, he was came from Texas, lives in Montana. He was like a wildlife specialist, and he uh, is just like the mountain man. And I think he could have done it. <laughs> Pleasure meeting you. Take it easy.